friends and family from 192 in Kissimmee. Today we're going to be taking a closer look behind us here at the visitors flea market see what type of interesting items they have because we haven't really been here before and they also have like a plenty like a large amount of food trucks around here which is really interesting like out in front and on the side over here so maybe we'll check out a few of those as well just check out the menus but before we get started if you would subscribe and click that bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams we would really appreciate it One thing right off the bat though to notice, literally right across the street here you have Old Town Kissimmee which is absolutely just just so much fun. They have the uh, car shows I believe on Saturday nights over here. Definitely check out Old Town if you're in the area as well. They also have like this little cubicle here with a bunch of different flyers like I Love Orlando. You can see SeaWorld's Icebreaker coming February 22. The Where Orlando Traveler. Oh look at this guys. They even have some of those old coupon books here. Maybe you guys can get some uh, deals on some of the roadside attractions here. Well for today's purpose we're right here at the Visitor's Flea Market. World food trucks as well. Like I was saying the food trucks are just lined out in front right here. We have the signage for the visitors flea market and even a uh, Ichiban ramen restaurant as well like that'd be really interesting for the kids. One thing that I love about these like roadside places like these flea markets and all of these stores is just like the history behind them. How long they've been here like the paint jobs they're just really really nifty to check out. Like this booth right here is the King Master Grill. They have different types of milkshakes. There's like an Oreo run right there, Ferrero Rocher, Nutello. They also have some also have some different food offerings right here as well. Oh, look at this one. They have like a barbecue one. Play-Dohs with two sides. Look at this. Pork belly, beef ribs, chicken wings, crazy barbecue. This looks really good actually. If it's as good as it looks here on the uh, food cart, this looks incredible. Also right here to the left of the visitors flea market they have a fun game sign. It looks like they have some different arcade games in here. Perhaps actually like a whole arcade is in here. Oh it definitely is. Okay. Yep. Yeah they have a whole arcade section in here as well. This isn't open right now but the one right here is a big Halo Fire uh, Team Raven. That looks really neat. Alright let's head on into the visitors flea market here and get our first look. Right off the bat you're noticing some Orlando Florida t-shirts. Definitely good take homes. I love the tie-dye shirts. They're like this one with the dolphin. And right here we have a pineapple and a sea turtle. It says right here tie-dye shirts are $12.99 or th buy three get one free. Oh that's really good. That is a really good deal. As soon as you come in though on the left hand side check out the selection of Funko Pops they have for sale here like this is something else. Right here you have Godzilla vs Kong. Two different ones right here. These are $50 for Kong and this one right here of Godzilla is $75. Oh, look at that they have a Charizard for $50. We have some Stranger Things Demigorgon. They even have some rare ones right here like uh, Tom and John Ralphio. Remember that babe? $80 there from Parks and Rec. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Oh an orange bird. Look at that. $80 marked down from $100 for that orange bird Disney Parks collection. Then we have Chef Figment for $50. Yeah, also the same booth here has a good selection of Disney pins. We have some Mickeys that I haven't seen before. Cinderella Castle. Look at these ones. These are basic ones of like Buzz Lightyear. We have Woody. I love the bottoms of their boots right here though. We have Andy on both of them. Like they have a really good selection like the pins keep going down right here. But again over here look at they have a big Wonder Woman. All these kinds of Funko Pops. Incredible. Oh, look at this one. We have Sam from Trick or Treat. A Hot Topic exclusive. $25. We have some shirts right here with Mom with a Minnie Mouse, Dad with Mickey Mouse, Grandma and Grandpa right here. Then they have a really good selection of various mugs that I've never seen before. This one here says Brother, Orlando, Florida. 
That is really neat. Then they have one with dad, mom, and sister. How much are these mugs? Oh, look at that, babe. That's really cool. That's One Piece anime. They have My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia? These are $7.99 a piece. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, and this one's Fortnite. They have a really, like, good selection here of, like, old figurines. Like, they have a lot of the Smurfs over here. There's a couple Mickey and Minis hidden in there, but, like, oh, look in the back there. They have a Sorcerer Mickey. You could really tell the age of these, though, because, like, these Mickeys look extremely old. It says here they also offer designer shirts, $12.99 a piece or two for $20. I guess the designer shirt means these ones are sequins. Like this Minnie Mouse one here, it says kiss. It has two stars. Oh, okay. Then it turns into another kiss with two stars. But these are two for $20. They have them literally like in every single color here. Hello. These fanny packs right here are $12.99 a piece or two for $20. They say Florida on them. These would definitely be perfect for the uh, theme parks. We have a burgundy one, a blue one, and then like a neon color. Then also over here, they offer some bucket hats, $9.99 or three for $20 to $25. And these again are embroidered as well. I don't think I've ever seen a genuine alligator head this big. Usually they're much smaller. This one here is $299. Then they have a smaller version right here for uh, $31.99. You can also get your photo op right here with this gator. <laughs> He's waving at you. I haven't seen bamboo wind chimes yet here in Florida. Usually we don't see too many wind chimes with the wind. But these ones are really cool. It says Florida right there. You got some slippers and these are... $22.99. They have a few options right here. They have lighthouses. Oh, this one's my favorite one right here with the gator. It looks like some of these booths over here haven't opened yet, but over here they also have another booth with designer colognes and perfumes, in case you're interested in any of that on vacation right here. Look at this. They even have their own tattoo parlor in here. It's called Pain and Pleasure. Look at this. They got permanent makeup as well. You have some random zombie, like arms and legs in here. That is crazy. Look at that. Also, that offers some uh, different kinds of piercings here as well. That's pretty incredible, actually. All walk-ins are more than welcome. Feel free to ask. Here's a little bit of the uh, tattoo parlor back here. You see the chair? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good idea, honey. Here's the uh, ear piercing types and prices in case you guys are interested in that. Check that out really quick. They definitely have lots of stands with like t-shirts and whatnot here. I actually really like both of these. You got His Beauty and Her Beast. These are only $10.99 a piece. Then you got His Harley. Oh, that's really nifty. Then His Joker right here for $10.99. We got a Fortnite shirt here for $9.99. I have never seen anything like this before. An adrenaline, adrenaline rush rage room. This is crazy. Look at this. Throw it, smash it, break it. Legally go crazy. Here's the number right here in case you're interested. Oh, look at this. They have like different baseball bats over here. They got bowling pins. They got stuff to break here like toasters and coffee pots. There's I see even a, a Nerf mini gun. Negan bat. You're right. There is a little mini Negan bat over there. <laughs> and look at this. Here's all the stuff that was broken. Whoever heard of something like that? A rage room? Like that is really neat. And Brandy just spotted like a whole Nerf room over here that I want to show you guys. So here's the card for it. Nerf Gun Battle Arena. I guess they also do the rage room as well. 407-479-5178. But right here, they have a whole like Nerf section right here where you can battle each other. I feel like this would be a lot of fun with the kids. Like this is really neat actually. Actually, right here on the wall, they have a bunch of Nerf guns kind of lining here. I wonder if these are some of the uh, Nerf guns that you can use in battle. Check out this section here. Matthew and Luke would love all of this with all the different like anime posters here. We got My Hero Academia. I'll try to remember all these. Which one is this? Naruto? Naruto, Naruto Dragon Ball Z. I believe this one here is My Hero. I got this, honey. <laughs> they also have a huge selection of different poppets. This one here is a T-Rex. Very, very large. And they kind of get from smaller to larger. Down here we have a Mickey Mouse poppet. Then we have a butterfly. That's they have so us. many. Oh, a monarch butterfly? Among Us. Oh, Among Us. Get out of town. Well, it comes with dice, too. 
And check this out. They have like a bunch of off-brand gibbets. Like if you collect Crocs or have any Crocs, like they have so many of them right here. And they actually have like Mickey and Minnie right here. They have anime ones. Oh, look at that, honey. Kakashi. They have Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. Sully. Oh, look at all of these. I love this one right here. Look at that one. Sheriff Woody there with balloons. That's amazing. Mickey and Minnie. Oh, then we even have Stitch. Just made our way into the next booth right here. Look at this. They have a Captain America for $8.99. These are Thai Beanie Babies. They also have an Iron Man one and several different uh, Disney plushies right here. We have Pluto for $9.99. We have Donald and Daisy. Minnie Mouse here is only $6.99. Then we have, of course, Mickey Mouse for $9.99. These hats right here are only $13.99, but I always love that pattern where you have like the ears there and it says dad, then this one right here, you have the mom one, and then the grandma one, or grandpa I should say. This booth here also has a bunch of different pencil holders right here, it's all about Mickey. They have a blue one and then a black one, these are $4.99. They have ones with a bunch of different princesses here for Disney, Dream and Bloom. They even have a Moana one as well for $6.99, so they have a bunch of the uh, cinch backpacks right here. This one here is from Inside Out. Then they have one down here for $6.99. We have Mickey and Friends. Then over here, just all Mickey and his friends right there. Mickey Mouse 1928. For $22.99, these bags right here actually seem like really good if you're gonna have a beach day. Like these are really nice. They seem like good quality. They say Orlando on them. Actually, Orlando several times on them. Then they also have this one as well, like a different type of material for $22.99. They also offer a bunch of different Florida towels. It says $11.99 each or two for $22. They do say Florida. This one here has a bunch of dolphins. This one's like a romantic scene. And again, another one over here with a bunch of dolphins as well. These shirts over here are a little bit different because these are embroidered. These are a uh, $12.99 each or two for $22. But I really like like what they did here with the uh, Minnie's bow. This one here says Orlando, Florida. Then this one over here, again, Orlando, Florida. It says mom. Oh, this one here is sequins. This is actually a really good deal for two for $22. And just some here. These would be great to take home for gifts, Orlando, Florida again. There's also another exit over here to the side where all the other food trucks are behind the building. Let's go check them out really quick. This one here is the first one that really caught my eye. This is like a snow cone machine. Look at this, it says you can do it. They must drive this over here. Here's a bunch of the different flavors that they have in nozzles right here. They have Oscar orange, they have strawberry, cherry, Billy blue, blue, blue raspberry, cotton candy, watermelon. That's one fun thing, like if you don't come here for the visitor's flea market, you can come here because there are dozens of different like food trucks and these are here, I believe all year round to the best of my knowledge. This food truck right here is advertising the biggest slice in town. Look at that, we got Pizza Mania. Then over here, we have some other type of different foods. Let's check out this tent here. Skirt steak and shrimp, they have snapper here. Get out. Like they got all kinds of stuff. Octopus, conch, like they literally have like a little bit of everything at this one. This one right here is more down my alley though. It's called the Super Grill. They have big power. Look at the burgers of these though. They have double burgers, grilled chicken sandwich, samplers, chicken tenders, all the way down to like Alfredo and pesto. Again, that's just a small sampling of all the different food booths out here. They are literally lined up in rows. Like they have food from basically like everywhere. There's ice creams and uh, ices over here, pizza, burgers, sandwiches, chicken. Empanadas. Empanadas, like everything. Definitely check this out. Also, the walls out here for the visitor's flea market, they're like completely painted with different murals. It's really neat actually, a little bit of historic Kissimmee. This one right here is actually the only booth I've seen out here that sells like plushies and different kinds of things. Let's check a little bit of this out. They have a Death Note collectible figure. I wonder if Matthew knows who that is. Originally $43 for $30. He, I'm sure of it. <laughs> All different. We have, a, we have a Stitch plushie over there. We have Baby Yoda. Luke would like that. It's like a Pop It ball. 
Yeah, that's really neat. Haven't seen those before. Look at this, there's even a sign here. More seating's available. Oh, this is cool. You can find a spot right over here, actually, underneath one of these walkways and enjoy your food. I would definitely do that. Definitely come over here if you guys are planning to uh, check out the uh, food carts, because this is like a perfect spot, and you can get one underneath one of these uh, archways in case it's raining. And I will say, we haven't tried any of these food booths, but they smell really good about now. Let drop a comment down below though if you have tried any of them, because we'd love to know how they are. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up, and as always, make today awesome.